Hello everyone and welcome to day one, week one of your real home workouts with some equipment to make it a little more interactive. Hopefully you don't have too many of these, but here's how it's going to go. You can either just watch the whole video through and try to remember what the cues and movements are, or what you can do is just pause and play as you're going through this day's workout. That'll help you almost have a coach with you there to help lead you and explain at the start of each of your movement segments. So we're gonna get started with your warm up. This is gonna start with one set of each movement to kind of prep your body a little bit. We're gonna do your side bridge reach through. So you can use a mat on your elbow if you like, if it's a bit uncomfortable. Otherwise you can go right on the floor. On your elbow, stacking your feet, strong supporting position. Reach your hand up, bend, reach all the way through, all the way back up. We're gonna go through one set of 10 on each arm, only doing one set. If 10 feels like a lot, take a break and then continue to get your 10 reps total before moving on. After your both sides, we're gonna go into some leg abducted rocking to open up your hips and legs. So with your mat, taking your knee on the mat, hands in front, legs all the way up to the side. From here, rocking your hips all the way forwards, keeping your chest up, keep your bum back, keeping your chest up. Keep that nice curve through your low back, stretching through this hip and that inner thigh. We go through one set of 10 reps on each side. Take your time, work through that. We're then gonna move through some more specific work, starting with your simple and effective dead bug. Laying on your back on the ground. Arms up, breath, pull those legs up. From there, Breath again, brace that tummy, head stays on the floor, reach out, hover, come back to center. Breath, out, and back to center. You're gonna do five reps on each side as typical. We're then going to, with your dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever you have, is perform some one arm high pulls. Depending on what weight you have available, that might dictate how many reps you do. We're gonna do maybe between six to 10 reps total, depending how tough that weight is for you. So standing tall with that hand in front of your leg, pull that elbow nice and high and outside, up, and slower down. Faster up, slower down. If the weight you have is a little challenging for that movement, or just not feeling great today, you can go for a one arm dumbbell row instead. So get yourself nice and far over from here. We're going to Pull that dumbbell up to your side and control back down. Up and back down. That's if the high pulls, your weight's too heavy or they're just not feeling good today. You're gonna finish your warm up with your Cossack squats. So a nice wide feet, toes can point out a little bit, send, sending the hips back and down, knee tracking out, heels down on both sides. Again, back down, Heel down. We're gonna go through 10 reps, five on each side. If you need to, hold on to a doorway or a heavy table or maybe a partner or a spouse or a sibling or something, holding on to your rack to get a little bit of assistance through that movement. You're gonna go through three sets of those exercises. So your dead bug, your high pull, and your Cossack squat for three sets total. Let's get through that now. So after we've done our warm up, we're gonna get through some strength work. Your strength work is gonna consist of split squats and dumbbell rows. So with your setup at home, there's a few options you can do. You might be able to use a chair, maybe a coffee table, maybe the couch is comfortable on your leg. I like to use the couch, it's quite nice on the foot. But something where your surface is around the height of your knee, okay? Quick review on your split squat position. Touch your heels. Go one, two, three steps forwards. We're then going to place that leg on top of the, the surface. Then from there, lowering down, standing back up. Trying to keep more weight on your front leg than we do the back leg. With this movement, depending how challenging it is for you, some different loading options. So the prescription is 
four sets of 10 reps. Now, if the weight you have is a bit heavy, you can dial it back. So if 10 reps at body weight is too easy, we should try and add some load. There's gonna be two options that we can do for this. The first one, I think is probably a little easier and more accessible, is your goblet loaded. So holding your object at your chest, one, two down, stand up quick. One, two, stand up quick. Now if what you're using is a little sharp on the edge, I recommend maybe grabbing a towel or pillow or something to put on so the edge doesn't dig into your foot quite so much. You're gonna superset your split squats with your dumbbell rows. So superset means you'll do a set of your split squats then a set of your dumbbell rows. Your dumbbell rows can be kind of any way you can support yourself. They can be self-supporting, you can lean into something, if you've got the opportunity, you can go one hand, one leg, up on whatever object you have. Always working in that dumbbell row to shrug back and pulling back up to your side. Try not to be too upright, but the more over you can get, the more horizontal with the ground, the better activation will get through your lats and your upper back. So with your dumbbell rows, we're doing between four or between maybe eight and 12 reps. Again, this is gonna widely range depending how challenging the weight is for you that you have access to. The tempo we'd like to see is a three, one, X, zero. So what that means is that we're gonna pull explosive on the way up, zero at the top, then go one, two, three on the way down, let it hang, and then go again. So with weight, pull one, two, three, four, pull. Make sure you prioritize your tempo, posture, and position. You're doing four sets of each. So again, you'll do your split squats on both legs, rest, then your dumbbell row on both arms, rest, and move through that four times. So get through that. Okay, so we're done our strength work. Should be a little bit tired in the legs and arms. And we're going to go through what our workout is today. So we have 10 minutes, as many rounds as possible at high effort, of 20 dumbbell snatches, 15 goblet squats, and 10 burpees. Your dumbbell snatches are standard. Weight's gonna go under your legs, down, all over your head, switch on the way down, 20 reps, 10 on each side. If you don't have a dumbbell and you have a kettlebell, the best option for you will likely be a one-arm kettlebell swing. So feet a little bit wider, bring that kettlebell into your hips, squeeze up, just Russian swings up to your eyes. That's going to be 10 reps on each arm, not alternating, do 10 one side, then 10 the other. After you're done your snatches or swings, your 20 reps, you're then gonna grab your object for your goblet squats. Nice and close to your chest, not holding it in front of you, but let it rest. Nice and tall posture, knees out, nice strong hips and back, going for 15 reps. After your goblet squats, we're gonna get into your burpees. 10 reps. Nice and standard, hands down, all the way to the floor, flat feet, touch on the way up. Doing 10 burpees. So your workout is 10 minutes of 20 snatches, 15 squats, 10 burpees. When you're ready, three, two, one, and go. So, you should be all done your workout by now, or you're watching this ahead of time. We're gonna get through some stretching. Always have time for stretching. Oh, you should always make time for stretching. Two stretches today, your couch stretch and pigeon stretch, lots of legs and action today. Hopefully you don't need my instructions on your couch stretch, but you're gonna get through at least a minute aside on that. You're then gonna do some pigeon stretch. 
you're not familiar with that, take a nice long lunge, hand on both sides of your foot, roll your knee open, and shift down a little bit. So you get a nice stretch on the outer part of your front hip. So my left hip on the outside, kind of around my butt cheek. So you also get about a minute aside there. Hopefully you enjoyed your first home workout. See you tomorrow.